hello and welcome back. My name is Lexi Jong and here I like to talk about luxury makeup. And today we have our second episode of Nailed It. Now, if you aren't familiar with Nailed It, the first episode came out two weeks ago and this is something that I'm going to have on my channel every two weeks. So every other Friday, we're going to have a new episode of Nailed It. Now, the idea behind Nailed It came to me through one of my subscribers, Ski Couture, and essentially what we are going to be doing is myself and a few other collaborators, and those people may vary. We have a couple who will probably be on pretty regularly, but we will have other people who come in, and the idea is to really get to use our products that we already have. So you as the audience can kind of see how we use different products to create the same type of look or not even necessarily always the same look. We're going to have like a photo or a theme for a point of reference and we can recreate it or we can put our own spin on it. For example, some of the more elaborate looks, it's not something that I wear typically. So sometimes I will try to recreate it for fun and other times I'm gonna put a more subtle spin on it to see how I would wear something like that on an everyday basis. So the idea behind Nailed It is really to showcase, basically to showcase more of what we already have and how versatile those products are. How we don't always have to go out and buy the latest thing to get a particular result that we're looking for. Today, I am working with Susanna Torres and we are going to be working on this look here featuring JLo. Now, the first episode of Nailed It, I worked with Susanna Torres and Susanna's gonna be working with me pretty much every time we do these episodes. And if you haven't already checked out her channel and subscribed to her, please do so. She is a wonderfully talented makeup artist and she has a lot to offer. She also focuses on luxury beauty and that's because, you know, let's face it, we all enjoy luxury beauty and the experience of it. And one of the things that Susanna is really focusing on her channel is more tutorial based and, you know, get ready with me's and things like that versus always having the newest, latest and greatest. Not that she doesn't buy those things, but she's not going to be specifically just reviews. So if you are somebody who is really looking for more information on technique and so forth, Susanna's channel is a great resource. So check her out and subscribe to her channel. Let her know I sent you. Today we are using this photo of JLo as inspiration. And although I'm not going to necessarily try to copy this exactly, I sort of am. So I think the main focuses of this look are going to be the bronzed glowy skin. So for me, I'm gonna focus more on contouring and bronzing and then having like a light pale lip and kind of a soft smokier eye. So to me, it looks like this eyeshadow, there's kind of like a rusty color in the crease and it's kind of smoked out a little bit on the lid and you can't really see too much of the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna keep it kind of simple and basic and go with something that I'm comfortable with. So first step is to create our base. So for today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter and I'm gonna apply this basically to the cheekbones here. Just gonna use my fingers to kind of pat this in and I just want to have kind of like a highlight peeking through underneath my foundation. I'm not wearing any primer today. Put a little bit too much on this side compared to the other. Okay, and then I'm also gonna put a little bit of highlight here on the forehead. and a touch on my nose and a touch here on this part of my nose. And we'll just wipe what's left right on the cupid's bow. So just a little bit of highlight peeking through underneath the foundation. For foundation today, I want something that's kind of light and dewy. And we're gonna go ahead and use the Chanel Le Beige Foundation, and this is shade BR12. I'm gonna use the Suku Foundation Brush today. 
and I'm just gonna spread this in. I'm just gonna do light layers. I think one of the hallmarks of this particular photo is that her face doesn't look super made up with foundation per se. That part I think looks very natural and it's more about looking natural with kind of like a bronzy glow. I have to say, I also don't think her skin looks dewy per se in this photo. It looks highlighted, but it really looks more like, um, more like a natural highlight instead of something necessarily coming from makeup. Just gonna add a touch more here. So although I didn't cover all of my redness, that's not something that I'm intending to do. I want my natural skin peeking through. And for me, that's natural redness in my face. And that's something I'm okay with. Now for under eye concealer, I haven't had very much sleep in the last couple of weeks. So we're going in with something a little heavier duty today. And that's gonna be the Pat McGrath concealer in L1, which is a little bit too light. And the Sisley Phytocerns Eclat in shade one. And <clears throat> and I'm super excited to see that Sisley has recently expanded their foundation shade range. So they now have lighter shades available. So there should be, I should be able to find a color match now. But I'm curious to see whether they will expand their concealer range because I mean, shade one is too light. <laughs> I mean, too dark. All right, so I've got a mix on my hand. I'm just gonna tap in a little bit and I don't like to use a ton. So I'm just gonna put in a little bit and we'll go in with very light layers and build that up. I know a lot of people prefer using a brush for concealer, but I like how using my fingers, you have kind of like a little bit of body heat, although my hands are very cold today. <laughs> Um, but it kind of helps warm it up and I think it gives a slightly more seamless finish because it kind of melts into your skin a little bit better. All right, let's just add a touch more right here. Not gonna set my face with any powder or anything right now. I think we're gonna move into eyes. So I'm gonna bring you in a little closer. And if you look at the photo, it looks like, you know, she's got her eyes tight lined and so forth. I think I'm probably gonna skip on that and just do something a little bit more similar to what I do because my eyes are so sensitive. I don't really like to put things on the waterline too often. And since I am really tired today, it's probably something that's not gonna work out too well. So I'm going to start off with the Chantecai eyeliner in Slate, and this is really just like a dark gray, really dark gray. It looks like it's going to be black if you look at the tip, but it's really just a super dark um, charcoal. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm lining the upper lash line, and I'm trying to get close to the lashes, but I'm not keeping a thin line because I'm going to take a brush and smudge this up. So before I move on to the other eye, I'm gonna smudge this in, taking the Sonia G Smudger 2 brush. And you have about 30, uh, 60 seconds or so to work with this particular eyeliner before it kind of sets. So I like to do one eye at a time. I'm just gonna add a little bit more right against the lash line. And I'm using the tip of the smudger brush to kind of work that color into the lashes a little bit more. And instead of tight lining, I'm just gonna run this. I'm actually not on the waterline, I'm running it in the lashes. <laughs> now I'm taking the smudger two brush and I did not wipe it off. I'm just gonna smudge a little bit of what's left on this brush in this outer corner here. Okay, and I'm actually gonna extend this just up a little bit. All right, 
So we've got that, and now I'm going to go ahead and take the Natasha Denona Green Brown Palette, and that's what I'm going to work with today. I am going to go into this shade here, which is 90V Sandstorm, and this is the Isom G34. It's a very large blender brush. I'm going to get just a touch of this on the tip of the brush, shaking it off, and I'm going to put this in the crease. So I'm starting at the outer corner a little bit, just dabbing a little bit on there, and I want this kind of blended out. So I just want a touch of that kind of rusty brown shade, kind of a pumpkin brown. Okay, I'm just gonna add a touch more to this eye. I'm gonna take the Sony G Worker 3 in the shade below that, which is called Terracotta. And I'm just gonna get a little bit of this on the side of the brush and work this into the liner that I have on the lid. I'm gonna kind of bring that into the outer third as well, just with whatever's left on there. Okay, just taking that brush and working a little bit of that into the outer portion of the crease. And now I wanna go in with something a little bit more neutral. I'm gonna go into this shade here, which is 75S Skin. And I'm using the same Worker 3 brush, but I did wipe it on my cloth. And I'm just gonna apply this all over the lid. And then I'm taking the ESIM G34 again and just blending this. Taking the Sony G Pencil 1, and I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is 21S Cream. And I'm twirling the tip in here. This is going to be inner corner highlight. And I'm also going to add just a touch here under the brow arch. For the lower lash line, I'm going into this shade, which is 58P Satin Tan. I'm just gonna put a light layer of this. Okay, and I'm bringing it up where I had the liner there before. Honestly, I think that's it, but I kinda just wanna do something a little bit more. So I'm gonna go into this shade up here called Indian Gold, just with my finger and just tap a little bit of this in the center. So it kind of looks like this. And I'm just gonna add a touch of this to the center of the eyelid. All right, so let's go ahead and add mascara and do brows. For mascara, I'm using the Jones Road Mascara. I'm really just testing this a lot. And I'm not gonna curl my lashes. I'm just gonna do one light coat with this. I'm gonna try and add just a touch of this to the lower lashes. And I think on her lower lashes, if I remember correctly, they're kind of like clumped a little bit. I'm not gonna clump mine. That is not something that I really care for on me. But I do wanna have just a touch of that there. I'm just gonna take my finger and kind of Curl the lashes for a second. Now, if you have watched some of my Get Ready With Me's, you know I almost always go in with the Tweezerman eyelash comb to separate my lashes. I don't like them being clumped together, personally. I actually think the lashes turned out really well. I have really mixed opinions on this mascara so far because 
I think it does a great job on the lashes. I really like the way the lashes look, but you can see like, well, it's not doing it now. Oh, there you go. Like, I don't know. I like to keep my containers clean and this one just, the formula itself is so like kind of clumpy when it pulls out, which I'm not used to. I'm used to things that are a little more liquidy, but I really like the results I'm getting from it. So we'll see how that holds up over time. For brows, I'm just gonna do this real quickly with the Gucci Brow Pencil. This is shade three in Chat 10. And just kind of feathering these in a little bit. I want them to still just look natural and not like I have brow makeup on. And that's why I'm using a pencil today instead of something like the Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel because you know, if you look up close, you can see that that was a liquid that has dried versus the pencil just kind of smudges out. You can't really tell. Now we're gonna go in with contour and I'm gonna use the Burberry Light Palette. And if you follow me on Instagram, you saw my stories the other day, Burberry has confirmed that these palettes are permanent. They are not going to be a limited edition item. And the medium one is currently in stock on their website. The light one will be coming back in stock. Apparently it was restocked with the medium, but it sold out within hours, but they're coming back. <laughs> and if you miss it, when they come back, they will be back again. They are going to be a permanent item. So I'm so happy to hear that. So I'm going to go into this cream contour shade here, and I'm just going to get some on my finger and kind of tap it out. You can see how dark that shade looks. So I'm going to go in with the refer. This is the 04 brush and I'm pinching the um, bristles here to keep it a little bit tighter. I'm going to kind of blend this out. Do a little bit to this side here. And now I'm just kind of finishing that without pinching it. So it kind of dissolves in. Okay. So I'm actually holding the brush to the side so that it's kind of like wider and I have a little bit more diffusion of the product. And just whatever's left on the brush, just put around. And now I thought the perfect cheek product would be the Patrick Ta, she's so LA. So we're gonna go ahead and use this. I'm taking the 04 brush into the cream. And let's see if this is picking up. Let's just apply this to the cheeks. You know what, that's not really picking up enough product. So I'm gonna get some on my fingers and then we'll use this. And the reason I wanted to go with this particular product is when you combine these together and you use the cream underneath, like Patrick Ta suggests, it really gives, it's kind of like a, a really kind of dewy bronze look. I'm going to add a little bit more cream to this side here. Just whatever's left of my finger here. And for the powder, I want something a little bit looser of a brush. So I'm going in with the Refero 5 into the powder product. And personally, I have a hard time opening these uh, compacts because I always think of the Tom Ford ones and I hold the wrong spot. So I just gouged my product with my fingernail, of course. Okay, I forgot kind of how dark that one is on me. Gonna have to blend that out a little. Okay, I'm gonna wipe the brush on my cloth and then I'm gonna pinch the ferrule and kind of buff it out a little. 
I'm gonna go back into this powder brush, but I'm getting like even less on the brush. So I have just a little bit tapping it on my cloth and I'm just gonna do a very light, see how I'm holding it at the end of the brush? Um, that's so I have less control and I get a lighter application. So just kind of dusting it everywhere, almost like a finishing powder. Now for highlight, I'm just gonna take a touch of the two Burberry ones here and just kind of going back and forth a little bit. And this is the Fan Pro from Sonigi. Just gonna add a touch of this here and I'm going super lightly because I barely wanna see it. I just want a little bit of that glint. And I'm not gonna add the highlight anywhere else because we use the Flawless Filter and I'm going back in with the 05 and just kind of blurring any edges of that highlight so it's more seamless. And for lips, I just want something soft pink, kind of neutral. I'm going to start off with the pencil from Pat McGrath in Half Naked. So when I use the lip pencil, one of the areas I like to focus on making sure I have pencil is in the corners. And then I kind of just smudge them together. So I go over the outlines, kind of make it a little bit thicker. And then I make sure to really get here in the corners where it can wear off faster. And then for lip product, we're taking one of the Surat Lip Sleeks. And this is the shade Fiswa. And it's a little creamy, so I'm gonna take my cloth and just blot my lips. So there's that. And then I just wanna add a little gloss. This is the Tom Ford in Ravish number six. So this is a light pink with a little bit of gold sparkle. Just gonna put some here in the center. And that's it, that's my look. I would love to know your thoughts on this look. How did I do? Did I nail it or not really? Also, don't forget to check out Susanna. If you are here from their channels, thank you so much for stopping in and please consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you're interested in more videos like this, please let me know. I actually have a new idea that I'm going to be bringing to you very soon. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So it's going to feature you. And I think we're going to have a lot of fun with it. So stay tuned. I will be talking about that in one of the videos coming up next week. I'm going to move you in closer so you can get a closer look at what I did. And again, please let me know what you think. So here is the final look. And I just wanted to keep with the aesthetic while still letting some of my natural skin shine through. Obviously I do not have JLo's gorgeous tan skin. So I think for me, this is probably about as tan and glowy as I get. Thank you so much for joining us today. And if you have any suggestions or if there's anything in particular you would like to see on this series in the future, please be sure to let me know down below in the comments or follow me on Instagram and feel free to DM me a photo or something. So I am at Alexis Jong on Instagram. My information is down below in the description box as well as all of the products that I used here today. Thank you so much and have a great day. I will see you very soon.